All right, ladies and gentlemen, a little ball of sunshine named Ryan is here to tell you about your teens are crazy. They are nuts. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna. This is a little bit serious. So uh, we're gonna talk about evil teens. Evil these, teens. This, okay. this, this is terrible. So everybody kind of remembers the Slender Man stuff that mm -hmm. happened. So two uh, Wisconsin teenagers took their friend into the forest, stabbed her 19 times, hoping to meet Slender Man, who's just a fictitious character online. That's really creepy and it weird. Is creepy and weird. So it, this is what they did is these two girls they kind of researched Slender Man online and, and kind of figured out who he was and got they wanted to wander into the woods and find his mansion and this was the way that they could sort of say to him hey we're we're worthy servants of yours and so after they stabbed her 19 times and she crawled out of the forest on her own she, they they went off looking for him. Here's another thing that happened is. This uh, lovely young lady um, talked to her boyfriend, her suicidal boyfriend was texting her, and she talked him into doing it. In fact, one of the things that she tweeted, over a hundred times she tweeted him uh, that night, and she said to him, for example, you always say you're gonna do it, but you never do. I just oh. wanna make sure tonight is the real thing. Ah. Oh, So she's obviously in prison now. This guy's named Joshua Davies here. He was online, he was talking to some of his friends on Facebook, and he said uh, he's thinking about uh, killing his ex-girlfriend. And one of his buddies on Facebook says, if you do it, I'll buy you breakfast. What? He did it. He took her into the forest, bludgeoned her with a rock. He was 16 years old at the time. These Please people are freaking this. evil, man. <laughs> Please tell me this is leading up to something positive. Well, here's the positive part. Okay, so teens, they lack things like empathy. They're not fully developed in their prefrontal cortex, so they have trouble discerning what's reality and what's not reality. It's easy to talk them into things. So one of the things we need to do as parents is we need to monitor our teens online. Mm. Now, you might think, oh, here's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look at their phone when they're sleeping or I'm going to browse their Internet history and see what they've been looking at. Okay. But they're not going to know things like when you got Snapchat and you got all this stuff. Uh -huh. they're, you're not going to know any of that stuff. So here's a cool program called Teen Safe. And the cool part about Teen Safe is it'll monitor your child on any device they're on, from their iPad to their phone to their computer to whatever. But what we recommend is that you sit down with your teen first and say, hey, just letting you know, um, for your safety, I'm going to be monitoring your online activity, seeing what's going on. Because if you do it in secret and they find out, they're going to go underground, they're going to go to their friend's house, they're going to mm -hmm. get their own little iPhone or iPod or whatever and do it then. So what you want to do is tell them you're doing it just to keep them safe. And this is a really cheap product. And okay. it's, it could save their life, especially if they get into some of this really weird evil stuff. <laughs> so yeah. Teen Safe is pretty good. But also talk to your kids about, about what's real online and that anything that happens online is still reality and in the, in the, it can affect the real world. It's okay. not just all pretend. All right. So Teen Safe, I will check that out. Yeah. Man, thanks for freaking yeah. out. Oh, I know. <laughs> All right, back to you, Lisa. All right, thanks so much, you two.